In this demonstration, we'll take a little tour of a WatchGuard firewall. Now you'll notice over here to my right hand side, I'm on the kind of the splash page or the default dashboard that's set up for the watch guard device. And one of the one of the nice things that I like over on the right hand side is right off the bat you can see the status of the different interfaces that exist in this firewall. So this firewall is a little bit different than maybe a, a you know a home based firewall where you have a WAN port, or those home rotors have a WAN port, and then they have a couple ports for switches. This firewall has uh, five ports that actually are, um, are routing ports um, that you could use to configure for firewall capabilities. So you can see here I am using a few of these different ports. So I've got the, you know, the first port, second port, third port. Those are all up. My fourth port is down, and my fifth port is up. I've assigned an alias to each one, a friendly name, so I know what the ports are used for. And you can see the IP addresses that are used by each of those interfaces as well. Um, so what I like is right off the bat, I get a quick little snapshot of what my uh, what what's going on as far as the network interfaces, if any of them are down. Um, you can also see down bottom here, you can see your memory utilization on the firewall, which is kind of nice, any CPU usage. Um, so if, there's, uh, if your firewall is kind of being... Uh, being overworked, you can see that, which is which is really nice. Now, the first thing I want to show you here is the network settings. So, if I go over to the network um, and I go to interfaces, this is where you go to configure each of the interfaces. Um, so, as I mentioned, it did start with uh, with the five interfaces. Um, so, I had to go into each interface and specify the purpose of the interface. And you can see the type here is you can flag interfaces as external, as a trusted interface, or as optional interfaces. And the purpose of that is later on with your firewalls, you can say stuff like, you know, any trusted interface, traffic from any trusted interface is allowed to pass through this firewall. So it makes the creation of the firewall rules a little bit easier. Now let me go with this first interface, um, which I configured for 10.0.1.1, and it's the wired network. Um, so you can hit the configure button here, and you'll notice that I've named the interface. It is a trusted interface, and so there's different types there, so you can choose what the purpose is. Uh, and then down bottom here, you can specify the IP address, whether or not you want DHCP services used on this network segment. So anyone that plugs into that, that network that that interface creates will get an IP in the 10.0.1 network. Um, and then there's the uh, DHCP pool. Right, so I do that for each interface. I configure those kinds of settings on each of the interfaces. So you can see that here. So this is the 10.0.1 network. This is 10.0.2 network and 10.0.4 network. Now the other thing I wanted you to see here, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to record this demo is one of the things that Security Plus um, has focused on is the creation of different network segments. Um, and you can see here the purpose of this firewall is to create the different segments. So I have my wired network on one segment, but I have a the wireless network on a totally different segment. And my goal was to make sure that somebody on the wireless network couldn't communicate with um, systems that are on the wired network. Um, so that's kind of the idea of, of uh, one of the reasons why I like this WatchGuard device is it does have the five different interfaces that allows you just out of the box to be able to create those different network segments. Now I also want to show you kind of an example of, of the firewall policy. So if I go to the firewall and policies over here, um, you can see all the firewall policies. And I'll use, just to kind of, uh, as an example, I'll use the firewall policy called outgoing. This is one of the default policies that are created. And the reason why I want to show you this is because this is the reason why they have the different types of networks associated with those interfaces. So you can see here that the firewall policy is saying that any trusted network or any optional network, right? So traffic from any of those categories can go to the external network and the external network is connected out to the internet that's that represents the WAN interface like on your uh, home routers right um, so and you can change that so you can go and add in other uh, rules if you wanted to or other elements so um, so yeah it's a very cool little product makes it uh, you know very easy to to administer your firewall so in this demonstration you saw the watch guard firewall device Thank you.